O come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. O come ye, O come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the King of angels. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. Good afternoon, dear friends in Christ. Good afternoon, Father. As we come to celebrate the Eucharist today, we give thanks to God for the many blessings He has given us. But I'm sure there are some of us who are seeking answers for questions, seeking clarity for things that seem so unclear to us. So we just take a few moments in silence, bring all our questions, our confusion to the Lord. And so with this in our minds, in our hearts, we begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. So brothers and sisters, acknowledging our sinfulness, calling to mind those moments when we refuse to trust in the presence of the Lord with us. We ask the Lord for his Father and for his mercy, and we pray together. I confess yes, to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son has appeared in our very flesh, grant, we pray, that we may be inwardly transformed through him whom we recognize as outwardly like ourselves, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. My dear people, let us love one another, since love comes from God, and everyone who loves in, in begotten by God and known God. 
Anyone who fails to love can never have known God because God is love. God's love for us was revealed when God sent into the world his only son so that we could have life through him. This is the love I mean. Not our love for God, but God's love for us when he sent his son to be the sacrifice that takes our sins away. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All nations shall fall prostrate before you, O Lord. All nations shall fall prostrate before you, O Lord. O God, give your judgment to the king, to a king's sons your justice, that he may judge your people in justice and your poor in right judgment. All nations shall fall prostrate before you, O Lord. May the mountains bring forth peace for the people and the hills justice. May he defend the poor of the people and save the children of the needy. All nations shall fall prostrate before you, O Lord. In his days, justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails. He shall rule from sea to sea, from the great river to earth's bounds. All nations shall fall prostrate before you, O Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus proclaimed the good news of the kingdom and cured all kinds of diseases among the people. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus stepped ashore, he saw a large crowd and he took pity on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he set himself to teach them at some length. By now it is getting very late. And his disciples came to him and said, this is a lonely place and it is getting very late. So send them away and they can go to the farms and villages round about to buy themselves something to eat. He replied, Give them something to eat yourselves. They answered, Are we to go and spend 200 denarii on bread for them to eat? How many loaves have you? He asked. Go and see. And when they had found out, they said, Five and two fish. Then he ordered them to get all the people together in groups on the green grass. And they sat down on the ground in squares of hundreds and fifties. Then he took the five loaves and the two fish, raised his eyes to heaven and said the blessing. Then he broke the loaves and handed them to his disciples to distribute among the people. He also shared out the two fish among them all. They all ate as much as they wanted. They collected 12 basketfuls of scraps of bread and pieces of fish. Those who had eaten the loaves numbered 5,000 people. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, brothers and sisters, we have in our gospel today from Mark the multiplication of the loaves, the miracle of the feeding of the multitude. We have this today, and we know it as a miracle. Many ways to explain this miracle, many ways to, to see how it affects our li own lives. But for me today, just like to share with you my thoughts on meditation this morning and it has to do with human logic huh? and um, 
Of course, all of us want to be heard, no? We have our own opinions, you know? We want to be heard. And it's our right for all of us to be heard, to share our opinions. But um, not all of us are right in our opinions. Not all of us are right. We have a right to share it, but not all of us can be right in our own opinions. And today, Jesus gave them the opportunity to share their opinion, but he takes us to a different level. There comes a time when our human logic has to give way to the intervention of God. There comes a time. You know? Because when we apply our human logic, there's always, what about me? Where I fit into this? You know? How can I, uh, what can I gain from this? You know? We see the disciples today. What, we have to go and buy food, you mean? We have to go and spend our money, you mean? Things like this, you know? Things like this. So, the intervention of God puts aside all our human logic, sets aside all our human logic, even our bickering with one another, who is right and who is wrong. Today, as we come to Sabbath, the Eucharist today, I guess the great miracle today is to allow the presence of the Lord to lead us in our respect for one another's opinions, not to put down one another to respect one another's opinions. I don't have to have the last word. I don't have to be always in the right. When we get that right, then our relationship with one another will itself portray the presence of God in our lives. I don't have to always be right. I don't have to have the last word always. Okay? All right? Bless the you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Put off the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless the you, Lord, God of all creation, to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For of the vine and work of human hands, it become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With a humble spirit, contrite heart, accept you, Lord. By your office, I this day be pleasing to you, Lord. Lord, wash me. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favour, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, so duty now salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. 
For today, you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. So we bring to the altar of the Lord at the Eucharist today our conflicting thoughts. We bring to the Lord those we find difficult to relate with, we bring to the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew form, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope, and Julian, our Bishop, and all who serve your people. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, a spouse with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As we pray this prayer that Jesus taught us, we lift up to Jesus all that is occupying our mind and our hearts. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord is always with you and with your spirit you offer each other our sign of peace lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Brothers and sisters, behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, Jesus who takes away our sins and the sins of all the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
Helpless and hungry, lowly afraid, wrapped in the chill of midwinter, comes now among us, born into poverty's embrace, new life for the world. Who is this who lives with the lowly, sharing their sorrows, knowing their hunger? This is Christ revealed to the world in the eyes of a child, a child of the poor. What child is this who laid to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping? Who angels greet with anthems sweet while shepherds watch are keeping? This, this is Christ the King, whom shepherds God and angels sing. Haste, haste to bring him, Lord, the babe, the son of Mary. Who is the stranger here in our midst? Looking for shelter among us. Who is this outcast? Who do we see amidst the poor, the children of God? Who is this who lives with the lowly, sharing their sorrows, knowing their hunger? This is Christ revealed to the world in the eyes of a child, a child of the poor. This, this is Christ, the King, whom shepherds God and angels sing. Haste, haste to bring him, Lord, the babe, the son of Mary. Let us pray. O oh God, who touch us through our partaking of your sacrament. Work, we pray, the effects of its power in our hearts, that we may be made fit to receive your gift through this very gift itself, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads, pray for God's blessing. May God, who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light, pour out in kindness his blessing upon you and make your hearts firm in faith, hope, and charity. Amen. And since in all confidence you follow Christ, who today appeared in the world as a light shining in darkness, may God make you too a light for your brothers and sisters. Amen. And when your pilgrimage is ended, may you come to him whom the Magi sought as they followed the star, and whom they found with great joy, the light from light, who is Christ the Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless all of you who are gathered here, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in the peace and the joy of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let there be peace on earth, and let it begin with me. Let there be peace on earth, the peace that was meant to be. 
with God as our Father, brothers all are we. Let me walk with my brother in perfect harmony. Let peace begin with me. Let this be the moment now. With every step I take, let this be my solemn vow. To take each moment and live each moment in peace eternally. Let there be peace on earth and let 